Hello and welcome to USF 2000 at Phoenix Oval. Uh, we have done this combo before, the USF 2000s, 2000s, yeah, the whole decade. No, the USF 2000 uh, it does go to ovals once in a while. Never been too crazy about it, but it's something interesting, so I guess that's why I'm back. <laughs> um, I really heavily contemplated not qualifying. I am the number flag, one, um, and I fully okay, expect this to be pretty messy. It seems like it often is. But, uh, I also know that draft is going to be huge, so I don't want to like, lose draft either. So, that's why I kind of ended up deciding to... Go ahead and qualify. I don't even know if I'm going to qualify well. Um, and see what happens. But. You know. Sorry. I'm really trying to be precise here because you have to be right on it in order to hopefully get a good lap. Uh, I'm just going to back out of anything that seems scary and hopefully survive. This is the same car that uh, at New Hampshire Oval basically the entire field wrecked so hey that was pretty good uh, that'll be good full time uh, so hopefully we can get out in front of it uh, guys are probably gonna try to kill us take it three wide and whatever because draft just gonna try to stay out of it I'll back out if I need to but I just don't want to lose the draft that's the big thing because you do go a little bit a considerable bit faster in the draft so that's what had me decide against putting myself in the back and then having to check up for Rex and lose the draft it just seemed like a bad idea I'm also basically playing Russian roulette with my eye rating here not that it matters but if I finish anywhere below it's probably like third probably lose I rating and if I get wrecked out by somebody and not very many other people wreck out and I finish last probably like 150 or more I rating because these are a bunch of road guys typically and well they probably don't have very much oval I rating so this ought to be good just went ahead and hopped out of the car we're waiting on the 11 but no, we are ready to go. How about that? So we got ourselves the pole. Uh, not sure how much that's going to matter or anything. Kind of wondering what uh, tires will do. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Just have session last closed. lap up. I know you'll you you uh, lose a little bit of grip, especially if you're having to push through arrow push. I imagine that's probably bad on it. Someone's heavy on the throttle for some reason. <laughs> we're so low to the ground. Look, It feels like we're going to drive under the pace car. If we're not careful. Oh my gosh, that's very annoying. Whoever's doing that, please. Discontinue. Thank you. Kind of. Okay, give you a second gear start. Looks like. Um, well, I don't know, actually. That was... <laughs> hmm. You know, as the leader, I think maybe I can get... <sighs> Do it second gear, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go early and use second gear. You get a little bit of tire spin doing that, I'm just not even gonna mess with all that nonsense, man. No need to overcomplicate it. I think I'll be fine in second gear. It's not like we're actually going to pull away or anything anyway, probably. About to go green. Stay focused. So we'll kind of get a slow jump. Maybe catch him off guard. The pace yeah. car is in. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Power. So they're going to be right back on us here soon. Just hope they don't do anything too stupid. Oh, 
hope I don't do anything too stupid. You never know. I wouldn't put it past me. So the car's gonna have a bit of fuel in it at this point. It's gonna be a little bit tougher to turn. So far, so good. You're in the lead. The guy behind has just done a 27.5. No need to waste any time not taking it near the bottom. It's almost super speedway ish where you don't really need to fade out to the wall, really. I don't think. Not really that necessary. Fastest lap for Murphy, 27.3. That's your best lap in this session. The guy behind has just done a 27.3. Guy behind's catching, as uh, I fully suspected, but I thought he'd be here already. I thought he'd be here from the start. Maybe he'll be smart and uh, not dive it in or anything and just let us maybe even pull away. Who knows? We'll see about that. I can't believe there's like almost a second to third. Did not expect that for sure. Fastest lap for Murphy. Just aim right for the apex. I'm up here. Not too much to it. Pretty straightforward, to be honest. But I didn't expect anything else. He's on us now. Is he going to try to get around us? I'm not going to fight him if he does. He might be being smart. I think he's being smart and hanging back. Right on. That is good news for both of us, I think. He chooses to just hang out. But he is getting a little bit of pressure from behind now, so maybe he'll uh, feel the need to go forward. I don't think we're getting away or anything, so maybe uh, he, he is right to do that. Why are my frames stuttering? That is another question for the ages. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm just keeping it in sixth. I've really been testing around with the uh, shifting and stuff. I really haven't felt the need. I think the time to shift is whenever you're really mired down in arrow push, or if you happen to overdrive a corner or something. All right, go on, man. Or in this situation, probably where you have to take the outside line. That'd be a good time. Gonna be patient. Even if we could go around him, we will not. The next car's the leader. Again, they really are kind of pressuring from behind back there. Maybe I do want to get ahead of them. Not quite sure. A little bit arrow push, so we will go in fifth. Pretty good practice learning how arrow push messes with a, a car like this. It's kind of like a guaranteed way to figure out how it uh, feels, get an idea of how it feels. So right behind him. It's like we're able to pull away if we do this, so just gotta keep doing it. You've just done a 27.5. V2. Maybe not pull away. They really reel us back in at the end of the straightaways when I have to start lifting. So as not to run in the back of them. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. I think that's already halfway, if I'm not mistaken. Ten minutes left.
Yeah, something unique here. Nothing too crazy exciting or anything, but I don't mind running this since it only comes a couple times a season. Usually it seems like it's Phoenix Oval or New Hampshire. Seems like where they like to go. Also, USA, I think, we went to one time. That one was pretty interesting. Trying to stay smooth, obviously keep it out of the wall. Or, oh! Totally unnecessary. Okay, something happened behind us. Well, I don't know what happened, but they're gone. They have been deleted. I don't know what happened. I can only go so fast. Some, the way I entered that and the way he turned that corner Thank you, got me some Thank you for your fresh. So we will just hang out behind them for a little bit. Still got eight minutes. Think about how we will get around him whenever the time comes. Probably going to get a run off of one and two, or whatever these corners are called. There's like 30,000 versions of Phoenix now, so you know what I'm saying. Even if I don't get the right corner name, maybe I could go wide off of this corner. No. Just kind of trying to figure out where I would want to make the move. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. Oh, it says halfway home. So, oh, it's a 15 minute race. So that's why seven and a half minutes left is the halfway mark. Okay. I gotcha. So pretty much guaranteed top two here if I don't do anything stupid or if he doesn't get into us. Maybe I could shift into fifth and get a good run off. Is that how I could do it? Like, or get speed mid corner or something? Maybe that would be the way to do it? I don't know. Just keep an eye on the time. I want to make the move at the right moment. There, I'll push there. Shift it into fifth. Maybe I would want to, uh find an open door into this corner. I know I can stick it on the bottom pretty easily. Seems like it would be less risky than trying to stick the nose in here. Six minutes. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. It looks like I can usually get enough of a run to get the nose on him right there, and then I wonder if I would want to do that last lap. Or if he would get a run on me off the high side. And that would allow him to get to the line quicker. That's the concern there. Well, heck, why don't we test it? Outside. The gap behind is now one point seven seconds. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Clear high. Outside. Looks like that would be enough. Stay low. <laughs> Clear outside if you want it. You are the leader. Nice and smooth. Five minutes left. Lost us some time, but I didn't think it would be enough to bring them to us. That's now I know my game plan. I will sit behind him. He might end up trying to block. That wouldn't be so bad. We might be able to get around him still, even if he does attempt to block. 
But I think second place is where I'm going to want to be on the last lap. That's the strategery we are aiming for. So we'll wait for that white flag to come up. That lap time was 37.5. I just got to make sure I get a good enough run off of one and two on the final lap. In order to pull it off. Should be coming up soon. Four minutes. And we still got a handful of laps left. Not too many, but a handful. Six is hanging back there. We'll have to think about him a little bit. Got through there much better than he did that time. There's a guy sitting in the grass. Poor fella. <laughs> He's had himself a rough day and is all tuckered out. <laughs> Feels like I'm a cat playing with my food right now. Like, I know I can get around him, but I just know the draft is going to bring him back. And fighting is only going to bring people behind us, to us, and that's when it is going to get real messy if we got like four people doing this. That's why I want to avoid that. But that six is coming. Mm. He might have to make me change my plans. If he gets up here. Two minutes. Three or four laps. Just seems like the tires are old enough where fifth gear seems like the play all the time now. In turn one, obviously. Still think sixth gear is where I want to be here. Worn out fellow who is in the grass has left. Almost looked like he was protecting the inside there. So I might have to anticipate he's going to do that. That would do, probably. Probably take a defensive line, knowing that uh, he's going to do that. Yeah, I want fifth gear, I think, going forward. I gotta get I have to doing that now. Yeah, he's definitely take that defensive line. Outside. Change my mind. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. The car yeah, outside. Pretty consistent. Change my mind because Stay I see low. the stress. This car up here, bringing draft. Stay low. That changes everything. Stay low. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Stay low. You're in the middle. Three wide. Outside. Two okay. wide. One more lap to win. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Okay, you are the leader. Stay low. Outside. Clear. Hmm. Not good. Should have stuck to the plan, probably. Oh. Car inside. Well done. Decent drive. There's the flag. It's I over. didn't know that lap car was going to give up. 
No, nice race, Colton. I think you could have made that pass earlier in the race, Dick. I don't know why you gave it up. Uh, draft was just going to bring you back anyway, and I was worried that uh, battling was going to bring those guys behind us to us and cause a big mess, so <laughs> I was happy with the top two and maybe with the chance to get past you later. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Good win, though. That was fun. That yeah, was fun, yeah. Same thing earlier in the race. I was just happy to chill behind you and then, uh, I don't know I had like an epic run that one time and I just like took it <laughs> finally yeah well done I thought I saw my chance with the lap car there I thought I could use that draft to uh, help keep me in front of you later but uh, I, I could get it to stick so oh well <laughs> top two is fine with me yep good run <laughs> all right seems nice um like I said, top two is a good run for me. Happy with that. 85, 92. So yeah, we were on the right front. I might have considered being easier on the right front throughout the race. And didn't really even think to do it, though. Uh, so we could have like been easier while stuck in the arrow push. And just trusted the draft to bring me back, but wasn't too big of a deal. Kind of just a low low stress race I enjoyed it for what it was so let's uh, see what happened out here oh the 10 I don't know if they touched or not but he got pretty darn close I think he might have got him all messed up and into the wall seems like his car's okay though uh, it's not gonna be oh boy or maybe it is still. <laughs> I don't know. So, first of all, let's see what happened up here. Oh, yeah. Guy just runs into the back of him. That's what we heard them talking about before. Really, he gets the worst of it, though. Unless the other guy's damaged. And then... Chain of uh, effect there. Oh, no. And then we had another guy fly in. No cautions, obviously, so people are going hard, even with the crash in front of them. Uh, smoking kills him. Yes, we just saw that. And we just have a rear ending. I guess he had to lift off hard to not drift up into him there. It looks like the uh, car behind didn't lift off as much as he might have needed to. And they kind of get hooked. And I believe, yes, this was the guy in the infield just contemplating life. Blue car drifts up. You see that a whole lot in these races. Guy's not able to stick it down low and then drifting up out of the bottom lane. To be fair, you see that in pretty much all of wheel racing, but see that a lot here. Guy sitting up top with a broken car. It looks like that's it. So uh, congrats to the three. He pulled it off. Um, I tried to think of a way, a plan to get around him. I obviously did not want to bring those guys behind up. Later. Or, you know, I did not want to fight and bring those guys to us, so I uh, rode back there for a while, made sure that we basically established a top two, and then uh, went for my pass. Let's go ahead and see. I want to take a look at my attempt for the pass. This was it. Okay, so, yeah, my theory was um, I didn't want to try to pass him immediately because I figured the draft would bring him right back to me and he would be able to slingshot me when he needed. But then I saw this guy up here and I thought, well, if I can get a hint of draft from them, then that'll negate his draft a little bit. So that was the theory. So I figured, okay, it's getting close to the end. Let's pass him now. Get the draft from this guy. Ooh, closed the door a little bit, but he was also kind of down the track probably fade up to the, towards the wall a little bit more, I would think, but 
I turned the wheel hard because it looked like he was going to get right in behind me. So that, that broke a little bit of my momentum, but it wasn't a huge deal. Came down here, and I was hoping... <laughs> the lap car's politeness, I think, hurt us. Because I was hoping he would just continue being full speed and we would grab the draft off of him. But he was just so darn polite. <laughs> And pulls over to the side, and I'm like, no, I wanted your draft. And he backs out. And now suddenly we're just side by side, and he's going to have the outside line. Which is going to give him a bigger run. And I believe this was the final lap, so then I'm just in a bad spot here, because I can't even revert back to my old plan anymore, because I didn't have the run I needed to try to get the nose on him in the final corner. And uh, unfortunately, my idea did not work. Uh, I needed the lap car to continue at pace, rather than being polite. Darn you for being polite! No, I'm just kidding. It was a good thing for him to do. I just didn't expect it. And, uh, we're not able to get around the other guy, but he, uh, he raced well, he raced smart as well. So, uh, good win to him. And, uh, we got the guaranteed top two, essentially, like I was saying, by not battling him the whole time. And uh, I'll take runner-up. That's perfectly fine with me. So that'll do it. Uh, we get ourselves the 0x. Had a good race there. A good uh, gentlemanly race. <laughs> um, with strategery. And uh, there we go. Silver medal. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Some USF 2000 oval action. Get that once in a while. And uh, worked out well for us here today. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time.